Hey, what's up YouTube family? I hope everybody's having a really good day. I wanna share a word with you that I received this morning in pre-service prayer. It was so powerful. We're probably about 20 minutes in, and as we were praying, I, I was just talking to the Lord about the different things that we have going on in life, ministry, business, you know, just kind of reminding the Lord in case he forgot, you know, about everything that's going on. So I was just reminding the Lord about some things. And you know, a lot of times when people say that they're in warfare or they have a struggle, that's not a bad thing because if you're ever gonna move forward and advance in anything in life, you're gonna have warfare, you're gonna have struggle. So it's actually a good thing. You gotta understand that when you're going through something, it's good because in your biggest battles, you always will have your sweetest victories right after it. So the Lord spoke this to me. The Lord said, dominate through struggles. So whenever you're going through a struggle, whenever you're going through a hardship, a hard time, remember, you're just not gonna go through it. You're gonna grow through it and you are gonna dominate. You know, just like when, when two nations go to war over a specific um, piece of, of ground, you know, what are they fighting over? Well, they're, they're fighting over something that is uh, that has a value. You're never gonna go through warfare if the enemy's not scared of you. And also when you're advancing in life, you're gonna go through warfare and struggle, so it's okay. So let me give you some scriptures. The first one is this, John 1, 5. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. So whenever you're going through a rough season, a dark season, call upon the Lord and understand that God will shine his loving, everlasting light right in the middle of your situation. And when that happens, things are about to change. Remember what it says in Ephesians 6, 10, stand victorious in your life union with Jesus Christ because God wants to do an explosive work in you to do it through you. So when you step into a situation that you may feel that you're not prepared for, you don't feel that you can conquer that area or that situation or circumstance, remember that is a time that you should grow in God because when you grow in God, you will then be able to win that battle, that warfare that you're in. And when that battle is over, you will get the spoils and you will become stronger. Next scripture, Nehemiah 8 and 10. Now this is gonna be a tough one for some people. It says, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And understand that when you're going through something, have the joy of the Lord. As long as you keep going, as long as you keep fighting, as long as you keep reading the word, praying, fasting, got mentors in your life, listening to the right things, uh, the right material, reading the right stuff, you're going to be victorious and you're gonna get through it. The next scripture is Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Whenever you're going through something, call upon the name of the Lord. See, it's not your power that you fight with and fight in. It is the name of the Lord. In Psalms 46.1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. And one of the biggest problems in life, like people call me in our network or church, and they'll be like, hey man, Apostle Jojo, um, I'm going through this, I'm struggling, I'm in warfare, pray for me, pray that I get out of this. I said, hang on now, now hang on. Why would I pray that you get out of something that will actually make you stronger? I remember one time I had this guy that was in our network um, keyword used to be in our network and he would call me and say man pray that I get out of this warfare pray that I get out of this warfare I'm fasting that I get out of this warfare I said quit fasting that you get out of this warfare fast that you have the strength to go through what, you're, what, what the battle is the warfare that you're in because if you do not defeat it you will keep going through it over and over and over again. It's like a schoolyard bully, man. If you don't stand up to the bully, he's gonna keep bullying you. The devil is a bully, but I tell you what, you can you can punch that joker right in his face. Just when you do that, it's gonna be okay. My dad gave me some great advice in life. He said, son, if there's ever a bully that messes with you, punch him right in his nose one time and he'll probably leave you alone. Um, and so what you gotta understand is sometimes you, you just gotta kick fear in the face. You, you, you gotta you listen. You, you don't need to be scared of the enemy. You don't need to be scared of the devil or, or what he what he has coming against you. See, the Bible says that the enemy is the king of this earthly realm. Under in the passion, it says fighting under the kingdom realm. But where's Jesus at? He's at the right hand of the Father. What is he doing? He's interceding for you and I, which means we have authority from the heavenly realm. And last time I checked, God kicked the enemy out of heaven. And, and God's never lost a battle, so he's not going to start with you. So listen to me, friends. You got to learn to dominate. You have to dominate 
in the struggle. You got to dominate through the struggle. Whenever you go into a warfare, you got to set your face like when you got to say, enemy, you may have tried to bring this upon me. You may try to put these circumstances or situations in my way, but I'm telling you what, I, I, I am a freight train moving by the Holy Spirit and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to keep going. I remember in the natural realm, I was battling double lower hernia surgery and actually I blew my, my lower right side out. And there was a time that I was traveling in ministry and I would wear three braces, three different types of braces because <laughs> I wasn't going to stop. It's just a mentality that you have that when a struggle comes in, you don't lay down. You, you don't give in to the enemies, but you stand up and you fight like those scriptures I had. You know, God's got your back. He, the Bible actually says he has got you on every single side. So I want to encourage you today. Learn to dominate through the struggle. Whatever you're going through, you, you got you to go into that battle knowing you're going to have victory. I love hearing motivational speakers when they talk about that, that they were born into poverty or they didn't have anything and they, they you know, got in there with the right mindset. They found mentors. They listened to the right podcasts, watched the right videos, read the right books, got around the right people, and they made something out of their self. I love hearing about ministers who were powerful men and women of God and, and a lot of them you know they didn't they probably didn't have like the, the upbringing or the raising but they said I knew there was something else they didn't have a path laid out before them and, and so they may have had a hard road but they were on the road and you know there are so many people out there in life that are doing more than you're doing than I'm doing and had a lot harder road than, than we've had so let's don't ever complain let's don't be negative let's don't make excuses and let's go for it let's just move into the things that God has for us. So I just want to encourage you today, dominate through your struggles. Isn't it funny that I just talked about like being a freight train by the Holy Spirit? And I don't know if you can hear it on this video, but about three miles behind me, there's a train in it and I, I can hear it right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but we're just going to call, you know how charismatic Pentecostal people are. Oh, that's a sign from the Lord. <laughs> Oh, it's a sign just, just to stay on the right track that God has for you, man. Come on, keep going. God's got great things in store for you. I love you guys so much, and I hope this video helped you, blessed you. If it did, um, share this on social media because I just know that God has given me a voice of encouragement, uh, a voice to, to help people unlock their dreams and destinies. And I do these videos to help so many people because my wife and I, we, we just love people. We love helping people succeed. and just thriving in, in in life and so you know we only get one life here on earth so let's let's get all that god has for us out you know that's why god gives us prophetic words and dreams and visions because those are prophetic uh, mandates from the lord a lot of people think that they're options or opinions and, and they're not they're you know well i'm not if, if i want to do what the lord says no 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 and it's not your opinion if you do it or not you got to go for the things that god has for you so hope this word encouraged you today and hey if you want any more information about anything we do, go to jojodawson.net. Man, I've got more books, e-books, e-courses. Um, we have a blog that, that we produce every Thursday so people can read it, be encouraged. It's usually a prophetic word with a little bit of teaching on there. And I, I just love helping people. And go ahead and ask you to subscribe to the, the, the channel here. The more uh, people subscribe, the more people comment. And you know, it just it just gets those algorithms and gets things going. And in this day and hour, I'm telling you, friends, God is calling people to to have a powerful voice, and you have a powerful voice, and God wants to use your voice. So whatever God has called you to do, go for it with everything that you got. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.